Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Skoda Karok. Skoda Karok. And it's a fully imported model. Look at the car. It looks so wide. You know why it's even wider than the Volkswagen Tiguan All Space. Let alone the T-Roc. Of course, it's much bigger than the T-Roc. Okay, no hydraulic struts. It's quite heavy. That is the engine bay. And uh, you see this treatment. Kind of cool. You get insulation on the top as well. And my goodness, this is heavy. So, of course, it looks like a mini Kodiak. It's very impressive a design. I actually like it. I dig this kind of a design. This, I believe, is for the sensor. It has got collision assistance. No, I don't think it is for the sensor. I'm just kidding. But the grille actually looks quite nice. It's very typical in terms of Skoda design. You get front parking sensors and beautiful lights as well. In fact, the fog lamp placement is very much on the top. You get all LED lights, which look beautiful with the treatment on the inside. And of course, you get the headlight washer as well which works brilliantly to spray the headlight completely by mistake i already used it right now so it's a little bit wet however i cleaned it with my jeans so you see little wet jeans right now anyways large skoda logo up front and this is the indicator the front indicator when you come to the side you realize that yes it is smaller much 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 smaller yeah it's actually bigger than the t-rock in every dimension but you know what it's still a small car for the price straight away let's look at the wheels 215 17s I love the design, the attention to detail in the design is really very nice, looks quite right. Okay, there is a good amount of uh, space between the wheel and the body and of course ground clearance is also decent enough. You get this black cladding and you get the chrome line as well. Meanwhile, the roof rail is also finished in silver, this is not actually chrome, this is silver, this is chrome, I don't know, I don't care. Anyways, the outside rear view mirrors also get indicators and below here you see, this actually reflects Skoda at night on the floor. Coming to the rear of the car, I like the fact that the lights look really very cool. Might remind you a bit about Honda's lights because the stapler treatment is there as well. And of course, there is no Skoda logo at the rear, but Skoda is written there. So that's a new design direction which Skoda has taken. Of course, you get a rear wiper and a subtle spoiler. No, it's not a spoiler. It's a high mounted stop lamp. That is the antenna. And of course, get some massive panoramic roof too. Now, the car does look very nice. I like the design. I really like the design of this car. Okay, you see the light treatment. Pretty cool. Meanwhile, this is the indicator. Now, the indicator is not LED. It is a bulb. Let's see where the exhausts are. No fake exhaust on the car. The real exhaust is placed here. One of them is placed there. Where's the second one? Second one is placed here. No, no, no. It's just a single exhaust. Okay, you can see the tires are wide enough. Decently wide as such. Let's open the boot. But let me show you. This is the towing hook of the car. This is the reverse parking camera. And once you get into reverse and use the wipers, it actually sprays from here. Yeah, it sprays from here to clean the camera. That's also pretty cool. This is the boot of the car. Boot is quite big, huh? It's a very big boot. And I love the practicality of the boot because firstly, obviously, you got this torch, which you can remove. Yep, this is the torch, which you can remove. It's super cool as well. And you can turn it on if you want. Turn it off, turn it on. Yeah, this is so nice. Okay, it charges. There's a 12 volt charging socket here as well. And they are these rails here. You can move this. So this is also very practical, you know. Yep, very practical. This is obviously there in the Skoda EAT as well. You see, you can actually secure your luggage here properly. And of course, you can recline the seats in 60-40s format if you want to increase the boot carrying capacity. How do you do that? Press this button. And there the seat reclines as well. So this is pretty cool. I love the fact they gave a lever and that's how you close the boot of the car. So I think in terms of design, Skoda is doing a great job these days. Very understated, elegant and yet extremely differentiated from Volkswagen cars. Now request sensor is there on the front doors. You don't have a press or a button, you just put your hand inside and the door obviously unlocks. Now let's get to the rear. First and foremost, let me tell you that because this is a wide car, okay, because this is a wide car, three people still cannot sit in because there's a nice hump in the center. Obviously abroad, you also get four wheel drive with this vehicle. Okay, the carpet say Karok there, rather the mats. And there is a 12 volt charging socket here as well. Rear AC vents, they cannot be controlled. There's storage space below here. And there's of course a light placement on the top and along with a hook and a handle as well. You see, there is a lot of airiness because of the massive panoramic roof. All the three headrests are adjustable. Parcel shelf is also big enough. Seats are really very nice, extremely comfortable. Very well done, you can obviously press this button and recline it as well. Or you can press it through the boot too, a little heavy. Okay, the road pocket is actually big enough. I love the chrome lining. I love the way that they've done the treatment on the car, but they should have given sun blinds at the rear. Okay, there is a coat hanger here too. 
which is also very cool which actually freaks you at night when you always i'm like hmm, what is that okay there's a hook here seat belts get the height adjust function too that's pretty cool and like i told you light and all the things are there there's good amount of uh, knee room and leg room and under thigh support is decent it's not great headroom is actually quite nice i see good amount of headroom in spite of a massive panoramic roof but the seat is a bit not reclined it should have been a little bit more reclined for added comfort so yeah it's a comfortable car let's open the center armrest and you can access the boot from here if you so wish yeah that's how you access the boot so very practical a car which obviously skoda is doing a brilliant job in that sense nowadays by giving all these nifty features two and a half cup holders here and i love the cabin there is a scooped out seat back there is a magazine holder here and the dashboard looks really very nice of this car i like how it is again understated yet elegant and built of very high quality too and uh, you see ac vents <laughs> here too yep those are the ac vents what a practical car okay really very practical impressive i'm impressed all right let's get going at the front now first and foremost let me tell you that it gets isofix child seat mounts here but that's not all it also gets isofix child seat mounts at the front the front seat also gets isofix child seat mounts when did you see such a thing ever happen that's absolutely crazy it says karok here just in case you forget which car you're sitting in but you know what the co passenger seat is not electrically adjustable although it's very comfortable you see the bolstering and all is very very nice and um, this is how you adjust the lumbar but this is a pain in the rear if you want to adjust the angle of it it's very difficult just have a lever okay let's open the glove box glove box is not that big but you have got sd card slots here one probably would be for the navigation and of course this is for the cooling function of the glove box let's just turn off the air conditioning yeah air conditioning off seats are super comfortable na huh? really very nice and impressive seats on this car you can turn off the passenger air bag by putting the key inside and flipping it okay you see the seats are really awesome nice panoramic roof too and it says that uh, how do you secure a child well right now we don't have that thing to take care of but button lamps are placed right there too door shut with a nice thud and that is the massive panoramic roof of this car anyways now the attention to detail in skoda cars is really impressive like let's open the fuel lid cover press this button there it opens i don't know what this is okay this is filter or something like that and uh, obviously is telling you the recommended tire pressures here and this has a lever so that you don't have to actually hold it anywhere you can just slot it whatever anyways let's close this let's get to the front seats first and foremost let me tell you that the dashboard obviously looks very nice it says karok right there does it say karok right here as well no it does not say so they ran out of the printing material because they still have that silver sort of a plate there but karok is not written uh, skoda's innovative dustbin which you can just remove like this throw this and replace it want to put it back no problem just push it like that yeah there it is done okay there is this useful strap to secure your stuff and of course door pockets are decent size at the front as well now electric adjust and memory settings you can save up to 3 people settings too meanwhile you get a massive dead pedal and of course a nice big brake pedal too along with some chrome no not a chrome aluminum finish okay all skoda cars have this hidden cigarette compartment below the headlight adjustment so this is obviously the headlight adjustment automatic headlights on this car and uh, yeah i love the seats i absolutely love how well the seats are done Plastic quality is good actually not much hard plastics obviously power window controls and these are the controls for the outside rear view mirrors all the power windows are one touch up and down obviously that is why you pay the premium engine start stop button is there let's get inside okay here the doors close yeah that's a proper thud for the door close anyways how do you like the dashboard do let me know now soft touch material is there i mean this is not hard plastic but yeah this is also not very hard obviously it is hard but not very hard the silver lining lot of chrome has been done very tastefully so chrome is here chrome is here and they've put chrome here as well and it's so tastefully and nicely done look at this okay this piano black finishing all throughout in the center console and nice chrome like very subtle and very tastefully done in fact there's a handle here as well <laughs> this kind of funny you would expect space to be below if you have seen my range rover evoke vlog okay these are the controls for the air conditioning obviously it's got a two zone climate control air conditioning yeah you can change your zones accordingly and you can sync it as well this is not a ford car but yet you can press sync in it lot of buttons here this is for passenger air bag it tells you if it's on or off this is to lock the car this is the hazard light switch and this is for the parking sensors it gets front and rear parking sensors the display is right in front of you let's just shut that for a moment and this is for the auto stop start function so basically it is going to shut off the car when you come to a halt and all that stuff just to frustrate you and make you angry now this is the traction control button this is the electric parking brake and this is the auto hold function gear lever could have been a little better in terms of quality it says dsg right on the top 
and uh, there is storage space here as well so there's a 12 volt charging socket right there and there is of course a usb charging socket too and there is of course a uh, space for your mobile phone you can keep your mobile phone right there if you so wish this is really very nice so there are twin cup holders and you know you can actually remove it if you so wish so here yeah you can remove this if you want that is very practical take your drinks along home and then you can slot it back into place so this is again very practical which you always see in skoda cars they really take care of practicality the storage space below the front and armrest but you know what if you have something hidden here which you don't want anyone to see how would you manage that well just push this ahead it's a sliding armrest that's so cool okay there's another storage space here on top yeah reminds me of the Volkswagen Tiguan all space and of course this is an auto dimming inside rear view mirror yeah auto dimming inside rear view mirror there is a light along with a mirror here same is the case here as well on the other side there's a light along with a mirror it's kind of cool there's airbag you know this car has nine freaking airbags that's right nine airbags in this car lot of light placement here on the top yeah all the light placement is here on the top this is to open the sun blind of the sunroof so let's do that for a moment so you press the button and there the sun blind opens it takes a lot of time because the roof is really very big very very big a roof actually uh, the panoramic roof is super big in terms of size but brings in a lot of airy feeling and obviously the cabin has been finished in dual tone colors so there's beige and there's black and it actually lends it an airy feel you press this button and there the sunroof opens the sunroof is actually quite big so in one go it's going to open like almost 95% so that's how much it opens and you press it once more and then it opens further yeah sunroof is really very nice on this car i really like it I like how impressively built this car is. The quality levels, the quality of the seats, the cushioning, everything is spot on. It's mind blowing. And there is of course a handle here, but there's a handle on the driver side as well. In spite of this car having, hold your breath, nine freaking airbags. I said you've said it 15 times. How many times you want to repeat the same thing? Okay. Now the good thing is that the infotainment system is an eight-inch unit. It's a super slick unit, and it's got physical controls with this chrome treatment on top. It's a really very nice unit. Of course, you've got the usual Skoda bits. like navigation vehicle information and all this i think i've shown this a million times to you so let's get into settings right away usual setting configuration let's get into car actually so vehicle status tire pressure monitoring system but we're going to get into settings and i'm going to show you what is most important so obviously you can turn off traction control using this button but you can turn it off here as well all the usual bits you would expect in a skoda car again into driver assistance driver alert system is active but what's most important right now is of course background lighting and it has got 10 colors for the same so when you change the color here it also changes the color on the instrument cluster which by the way is the virtual cockpit system which looks very nice it's got multiple views you press this button view button and you can actually change the same yeah there are multiple views here it's a very rad looking system the quality everything like graphics speed okay is really very good i love this one particularly i like the display you get all the information here and obviously you can browse through information by pressing this button as well so lot of data can be seen here cruise control limiter and blah 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 a lot of information is there like again i have shown this to you in the skoda super vlog even this screen so there's not much to talk about because it's the same like all the information is more or less the same you get plenty of information you can actually customize these dials as well so there's something on the instrument cluster here and uh, you know it also gives you eco tips basically in the eco tips it tells you that you know your car is on you should turn it off while driving in sport mode you should drive in regular mode i think i've shown all this to you you can decide how you want the virtual cockpit display and you can actually customize how you want to see the you know various things which are inset so this is also very good but i love the classic one that's the best gear position indicator inset of the tachometer and of course the speedometer the digital one inset of the regular speedometer obviously everything is digital but only thing analog you can see these bars right there on the right side for the fuel and on the left side is for the temperature meter okay there was a mg gloster which just passed by so i was like looking around what's happening now steering wheel has some buttons okay uh, this is for let's press this button also for cruise control and limiter and these are the controls to navigate through this very system okay you can just navigate through this which i've already shown you these are the controls for the audio system this is for volume and this is for going ahead or behind in a track and you can see this is the lever for the cruise control system of this car meanwhile this is for the wipers okay this obviously doubles up as the indicators as well and this is for the wipers let's use the wipers right away you see there is plenty of spray on off and i was talking about the gloster there the gloster is going okay, someone is testing the car right now that is the mg gloster Okay, what were we talking? Yeah, wipers. I was showing you the wipers. So you see, there's good amount of spray on offer, lot of spray as such, and really cleans the windscreen in no time at all. And obviously, the headlight washers also work if your headlights are on. And there's again the Gloster going ahead with four exhausts. Hmm, I see. Okay, the rear wiper also works brilliantly well. There's good amount of spray on offer for the rear wiper too. Expectedly, 
and that's not all let's get into reverse so let's get into reverse so this is the reverse parking camera it's got uh, guidelines but the guidelines are shockingly not adaptive now if i use the wipers well it actually does a spray yeah when i use the rear wiper it does the spray which i've already shown you and when you come close now it opens another menu so that's also pretty cool in this guy i love i love the small things which koda always keeps doing you know to impress you like the attention to detail is really very crazy hugely impressive i like it let's turn off the car let's turn off the car also now it does this spinning the car is spinning there and coming it is there in every skoda car and it will tell you your overall trip uh, you know overall information of your trip like a summary of your trip that it tells you the same and when you turn on the car also it shows you something similar but i'll get to that in a bit what you're going to do is we're going to turn on turn off everything and i am going to lock the car because i know all of you have been waiting for this okay so with the press of a button we are going to be opening all the windows of the car this just does not get old now does it when i do that windows have opened and the sunroof is also tilted a bit that's super cool now let's do one thing let's press this button and lock everything as well you see there everything locks all the windows go up as well now this is a very cool feature i really like it let's get inside again why are we getting inside again because i want to show you another cool feature when you actually get inside okay i don't think i locked the car for enough time for this to happen but actually the car comes there okay you turn on the vehicle now it's just turned on it didn't show it that way so let's do one thing let's get off everything is turned off and let's just lock the vehicle for a bit wait for 2 minutes at least but while we wait let me tell you that the car has got rear disc brakes as well it obviously needs it because the top speed is in excess of 200 km per hour now its cousin sibling rather the t-rock i did a speed of 216 km per hour on winter tires on the german autobahn and i could have actually done 220 plus as well see window area is large enough i actually like this car a lot i actually like this car a lot i'm surprised its price so expensive yet i like it let's get ahead first and let's close this let's see whether it does the spin thing or not yeah there it does there you see it's coming it shows the skoda logo and i love the graphics it looks so freaking awesome well done skoda well done impressive absolutely impressive yeah you can hang your coat here uh, <laughs> it kind of looks weird to me because in the night i'm always i'm looking behind i'm like oh my god what is that anyways let's get drive oh we didn't hear audio audio gaane nahi bajaya because that is important because the song system right the audio system of this car is really very impressive as well so straight away let's get into radio and play something audio quality is really very impressive let's get driving right away Now of course the spare wheel isn't an alloy it happens to be 215 60 16 in terms of size it's a steel wheel but nicely organized spare wheel and all the tools here as well nice bye bye All right let's get going straight away we get into reverse gear and uh, the reverse parking camera looks really nice and slick actually which i already shown you so why are we even talking about it get into drive mode and first things first we are going to do the ride quality test for which i'm pretty excited today you know why because the ride quality of this car is actually quite nice all thanks to the fact that compared to the t-rock the ride is better so the t-rock has better handling this has better ride because the suspension is on the softer side when compared to the one on the t-rock i think this is a highway this is a national highway it is never it's happened that i've come here and there's no traffic i don't know where people are going honestly okay you see the ride is actually quite nice this is obviously underpinned by the mqb platform which is a very robust platform and obviously it's a modular platform which means that uh, it can be used on multiple cars so it underpins the karok it obviously underpins the t rock it also underpins the octavia the superb the a3 oh my god that's a long list of cars this particular platform underpins and kya hua yahan se nahi jana jm pt jana na ha aur yahan se jao itna ghoom ghoom ke jana and the steering actually is also quite different when compared to the T-Rox which we'll talk about in a bit when we're driving the car out on the open roads so you see the roads are actually quite bad which is something you expect always in the monsoons and the Karok does a brilliant job on these roads yeah there is that hint of stiffness and the third if you try to speed up over such roads but it handles it unfortunately though it doesn't have such big a ground clearance so yeah ground clearance could have been better because this looks more suv than the t-rock for sure the t-rock feels like a hatchback it's a crossover actually and a really like fun to drive one nonetheless you see that third i was talking about you just felt it actually okay there's a puddle of water i cannot take this car here if it was an endeavor i wouldn't have thought even twice but this car certainly cannot go there oh my god the roads are super bad and uh, straight away let's do one thing Let's actually change the ambient light color to red. Random that was. That's pink. 
red and pink is the same thing no that's a hard thing i like the sound of the motor this engine is just phenomenal what a terrific engine wow so driving this car in the city is actually quite comfortable because the engine has good amount of punch lower down in spite of being a turbocharged engine obviously it's a tsi motor it's known as the 1.5 liter tsi evo motor and uh, it's got turbocharging it's got direct injection as well in spite of being turbocharged it just feels so comfortable in the city so drivability is really very nice very impressive drivability okay you just leave the brake pedal and the car gets ahead without any issue whatsoever excellent drivability i give this engine full marks in terms of the way the rev range performs in fact there's no flat spot there's a good low end there's a good mid range yeah in the top end it kind of lacks a bit so it does run out of breath quite quickly in the top end itna sada traffic kyun hai log kidhar ja rahe hain sabhi vlog karne wale hain i think ye bhi vlog kar raha hai wo bhi vlog kar raha hai iski gaadi to 800 hai to unique vlog hai views bhi aayenge i don't understand wo extreme front wale log left mein ja rahe hain This is the biggest safety feature in India. Press the horn and people stop. Trust me on this. All right, traction control off. Let's change the view of the cluster. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator. Driving the motor doesn't rev and off we go. Acceleration is quite brisk, but this car actually weighs forty-five kgs more than the T-Roc. and because of which obviously it becomes slower but this slight difference even in the dimensions now actually slight quite a lot of difference in the dimensions actually it's taller so a lot of more wind resistance when compared to the T-Roc that's the reason why the Karoq is almost a second slower to go from 0 to 100 km per hour this car takes around 9.5 seconds to go from 0 to 100 km per hour there will be a third now no it was quite comfortable actually the supple suspension managed it pretty well i'm impressed anyways so the suspension does a great job it's actually tuned for indian roads which is actually a good thing but though it's a cb so no changes happen so even globally they have tuned the suspension very well for comfort as such this car actually weighs 1395 kg yeah almost 1400 kg is the weight of this car but it has everything with the t-roc the suspension the chassis okay the suspension tuning is different but it shares the suspension components it shares the chassis the mqb platform it shares the engine which is a 1.5 liter tsi evo motor which produces 150 horsepower yeah between 5000 to 6000 rpm okay let's get into sport mode yeah so between 5000 to 6000 rpm it produces 150 ps of power and the torque output is 250 newton meters and that peak torque of 250 newton meters is there for 2000 rpm which means it is from 1500 rpm till 3500 rpm so nice peak in the mid range and that's the reason why the mid range is really very nice and juicy in this car so traction control is off air conditioning is off we are in sport mode for the gearbox left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator just rev still 1200 rpm that's it and rev and off we go So it actually upshifts at six and a half thousand RPM in first gear. Then it's like six thousand four hundred RPM in second gear. In third gear, again the rev range actually decreases. So as you keep pushing the car harder and harder, the rev range keeps getting capped as such. So it could have revved more. It could have been more aggressive in the top end of the rev range. That would have been really very nice because somewhere around five thousand seven hundred, five thousand eight hundred RPM, you realize okay, enough is enough. The engine is like okay, bye, Tata. and it it wants an upshift it wants an immediate upshift the good thing is that the dsg box is really nice and quick with shift it's responsive and it's smooth as well only thing is sometimes at lower speeds it fumbles and specifically if you're cruising along at a certain speed and all of a sudden you need a downshift that time it's like in 2000 hmm, should i give him one or should i not but for the most part the gearbox does a fab job you have obviously got paddle shifters on the steering wheel to make your shifts as per your own whims and fancies and there's a triptronic function as well so you can shift gears like that too so there are actually three modes for the gearbox there's the regular drive mode there's the sport mode okay drive mode sport mode and there's the manual mode and the manual mode can also be triggered using the steering mounted paddles but there is no other drive mode in this car so there's no drive mode as such which is kind of disappointing because cheaper cars are getting drive mode so there should have been a drive mode setting as well and there should have been launch control for sure this car definitely needs launch control because there's that lag initially so the dsg box does not let you launch because it wants to protect itself it's a dry clutch it's a dq200 i believe so it wants to protect itself so it just does not allow you only to launch aggressively and because of which i think it's quite slow off the line which bogs it down but you know when you're driving it sedately there's no issue
they have given so many modes for the instrument cluster but this is the best one if you don't like this then you can opt for this one but these are the only two instrument clusters which actually look nice because you get the vital information like tachometer and speedometer otherwise i don't know why they have having these unnecessary instrument cluster modes like what do i want to see here nothing do i want to know it's on two cylinder mode definitely so it gets on to two cylinder mode to actually conserve fuel as well which is actually a very good thing and when it's on two cylinder mode the fuel economy can actually stretch to 20 km per liter and it reaches two cylinder mode under i think 40 km per hour now on these bad roads ride is not an issue but ground clearance is so you have to be a little bit more careful here and although the steering weighs up decently well it's not the sharpest as such so this is a car you can't really enjoy driving fast for a reason which i'll tell you in a bit let's just stop brakes obviously very nice little bit of wheel spin on offer and like i was telling you this car is best when driven moderately because when you drive it moderately you don't miss launch control when you drive it moderately the handling is also fine the steering is also fine and uh, the overall chassis balance is also fine push it little harder you realize that it runs out of grip pretty fast and of course has a tendency to understeer as well so yes this isn't a car you would like to push around corners because again the steering doesn't inspire much confidence either i mean it's a good steering wheel for moderate driving not really for fast paced driving and in that sense the t-rock is just so much more superior because the t-rock feels like a fun to drive crossover hatchback which is sold as an suv in india definitely because it feels eager it obviously feels composed and grips the road much better than the karog but the karog just rides better but the t-rock is faster and the t-rock is cheaper and the karog has more features and i mean i can go on and on and on and on that's very like that sibling fight is always a one where you cannot decide a winner that's so difficult to judge specifically when this car actually costs around 5 7 lakhs more depending on which country rather which city you are country may be also there's a price difference because this car costs 50% more than the creta it should not be costing 50% more than the creta because the size is similar to the creta's but because this is a cbu and only 1000 units are being available made available in india that's the reason for the price now this car actually serves three purposes yeah three purposes first purpose of course is that this is like a stop gap measure to show skoda's suv offering till the time the vision i and concept goes from concept to production that's not number one number two the octavia is discontinued so this is again a stop gap measure at around the same price as the octavia's so that people who cannot buy an octavia anymore because skoda is not selling it anymore can opt for the karok if they want a skoda all right and the third thing is that people who actually want to buy the Octavia RS and don't find it practical enough well you can get this one although performance cannot match that of the RS the RS is in a different league but also 50% more expensive than this car now this car cost 31.36 lakhs on road mumbai which makes it quite expensive for what it has to offer yeah it's grossly overpriced it is super duper expensive because you don't get much inside this car the size is also small but the good thing is that it's a nice well put together car and obviously is simply clever in a lot of ways and that's what skoda does but skoda is all about value for money this car does not offer any value for the money which begs the question who is the one who's going to buy it someone who wants exclusivity this car gives you a lot of exclusivity like that bike that is a suzuki hayabusa right up front and uh, we cannot take it in this gap now there is no lane keep assist on this car which is there on the t-rock so that's kind of weird when some features are missing and there's no heated seats here either so i believe they should have offered a lot more nehad like kon khareede ye gaadi and the fact is that the audience is very small because you're paying a significant premium for something which looks really small and is actually very small indeed all right all right i have to admit that it has got nine airbags which is more than the one on the t-rock but it's so dusty ahead you can barely see anything that's kind of weird let's change the ambient light color because when i have nothing to do and i just keep changing the ambient light colors i think there are 12 color ambient lighting can you can you count it 4 plus 4 plus 4 no it doesn't look 4 plus 4 plus 4 it's 10 color ambient lighting actually 10 color ambient lighting now the ease of driving this car is really very nice and it's built to last built very well indeed and that's what you expect from a skoda because it's actually a vw underneath so here taking a turn no problem at all it's very comfortable very nice very easy as well and off we go now there's a dust storm which is looming right now and you can see a lot of dust there as well the only thing which could have justified the price of this car actually nothing can justify the price of this car it's just overpriced however still it would have been more acceptable if skoda had offered a four wheel drive version of this vehicle rather than being front wheel drive i mean come on you're importing it how difficult would it have been to give four wheel drive then at least there was some usp because 
this is like the successor of the Yeti and the Yeti actually came with a four wheel drive system as well although it missed out on an automatic now this DHG box is a charmer but with a manual it would have been more fun I can tell you because I've driven the T-Rock with a manual gearbox in Germany and I had so much fun because I could hold on to a gear here I cannot I mean it will not hold on to a gear in manual mode see there you go yeah it's like okay thank you bye I'm up shifting two cylinder mode it says yeah that is to improve the fuel economy unfortunately it still drinks a lot of fuel because your world fuel economy is somewhere between 8 to 12 kilometers per liter depending on your driving style it says 7.1 kilometers per liter the average right now the Skoda Karok then is a more practical bigger and more comfortable version of the T-Roc with slightly more features as well although it misses out on some features it has more features here and there and all but still more comfortable more practical version of the T-Roc so if you're not impressed by the T-Roc well this car will surely impress you because with the compact size it's easy to drive it's well built it's imported so you do have to worry about spare parts in the long run because obviously they're not going to stock them locally but still as a car it's quite a charmer although at this price point it just doesn't make much sense at all you rather stretch a bit and get the super i know superb is also nearing its end of life cycle but well that's how it is if you like this vlog you make sure to give the thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video reaction there's a big smile a massive smile on neha's face every time we are inside a skoda car i mean they should make you only the brand ambassador na